Now, this question is about a series RLC circuit. Okay, the value of R, L, and C, they are all given. So we have R, L, and C in series. And the circuit is energized with 24 volt 50 hertz source. So the source value is 24 volt. Now 50 hertz frequency uh, means that the value of omega will be 2 pi into 50 okay, radian per second, which is uh, same as approximately 314 uh, radian per second. Then uh, the value of L is 100 milli henry means 0.1 henry. So the impedance of this inductor will be 0.1 into omega that means 31.4 ohm j 31.4 ohm and the impedance of uh, this capacitor that is uh, 1 by uh, j omega c and the value of c is 50 microfarad if you put the values you will get uh, 63.7 uh, minus j 63.7 ohm okay now in the first part of this question we have to find the voltage across r l and c that means vr vl and vc that's very easy Okay, suppose the current flowing here is I bar, then how much is I bar? I bar will be equal to this voltage, okay, 24 divided by uh, R is 0 0.2 and uh, here we have J 31.4, 31.4 uh, minus J 63.7. Okay, and you can find out how much is this value using a calculator. Next, once we know I bar, then uh, you can easily find out how much is V bar, Vr bar, that is this voltage, it will be this uh, current, which we have already calculated, multiplied by 0 0.2. Okay. And this will be equal to approximately 0 0.15 with an angle of 89.6. This is in volt. Okay. Then uh, VL, that is this inductor voltage that will be I bar into this uh, impedance. Okay. So I bar into J31.4. And that will be approximately equal to uh, 23.4 with an angle of 179.6 degree. Okay, and this is in volt, of course, because everything is calculated in SI units. Finally, VC bar that will be just this current flowing through this, which is I. Okay, uh, current flowing here is I and multiplied by minus 63.7J okay, into minus J 63.7 and this comes out to be 47.4 with an angle of 0, uh, minus 0 0.35 degree, this is in volt. Okay, fine. Next, uh, part B. Find out the resonance frequency of this circuit. That's also very easy. Uh, so, resonance occurs when uh, uh, this omega L will be equal to 1 by omega C. Okay, so that means omega L is equal to 1 by omega C. 
when these two impedances cancel each other that is the resonance condition from here we can write uh, omega square will be equal to 1 by lc so omega will be 1 by root lc and the uh, frequency in uh, hertz that will be 1 over 2 pi times omega so that will be 1 pi 2 pi root lc okay so this is in hertz cycles per second and this is in radian per second now if you put the value of l and c from this question uh, this will be some uh, this will be 71.176 uh, hertz then we also need to find out the voltages across R, L and C at this resonant frequency. First, how much will be the register voltage Vr? We know that at uh, resonance, uh, the voltage across the inductor and the voltage across the capacitor, they will cancel each other. Therefore, uh, the register voltage will be equal to this source voltage. So without any calculation, we can say Vr will be 24 volt and uh, we take this voltage as the reference. So 24 volt 0 degree is the source volt. Vr will also be 24 volt 0 degree. This is in volt. Okay, next, how much will be this current under resonance? Now, under resonance, uh, this current will be uh, 24 volt, the source voltage divided by the total impedance of this R, L and C. However, the impedance of L and C will cancel each other. Therefore, we will be left with this resistance only. So, I will be, current will be 0, uh, 24 by 0 0.2, that is 120 ampere okay uh, then next uh, we got the current under resonance now how much will be the inductor voltage under resonance so that will be uh, this current 120 multiplied by the impedance of this inductor which is j into omega which is 2 pi into this frequency 71.176 and into L, L is 0 0.1 Henry, okay, into 0 0.1 and this is equal to 5366.56, this is in volt. Okay, next, how much will be the capacitor voltage? Uh, yeah, there should be a J here and how much will be the capacitor voltage uh, so we can say that Vc is equal to minus Vl under resonance so therefore this will be minus J5366.56 this is in volt now please notice that the cap inductor and the capacitor voltage uh, these two voltages are much much higher than the source voltage this is one phenomena to be observed that at the resonance frequency or near the resonance frequency uh, in an RLC circuit, the inductor and the capacitor voltage can be much larger, even larger than the supply voltage, source voltage. Finally, in the last part of this question, we have to find the Q factor for this uh, circuit and uh, q factor as we all uh, have studied that for an rlc circuit is given by 1 by r square root of l over c if you calculate this value it is 223.6 that's the answer